This is a cartoon house of Bloxburg. But wait, you can't see it yet. You gotta watch until the end of the video. That was in Thailand. Yeah. I tried a bidet for the very first time. For anyone watching this that does not know what a bidet is, it's yeah. a toilet with the buttons where you can clean your butt. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. It shoots water up like into a, like, the target. Yeah, <laughs> like a water gun. <laughs> yeah, and let me tell you, this bidet, I clicked it. It did not miss. It went right for the target. I think that's the point of the bidet. <laughs> and, and I started like tickling. I moved like there's a warm on my butt. And it was just, I'm like, okay, probably should not use anymore. I didn't know that I just sat at the right place. Like I, I tried to like move back a little bit so that it wouldn't hit exactly to the target, but <laughs> it was right there. Thanks for sharing, Tessa. <laughs> yeah. I also went to Japan and Japan has a lot of, um, tourists in touristy places they have flashcards mm -hmm. so if you don't understand japanese they'll like whip out their flash flash card and be like here you go like this is what i'm talking about and they'll be like thank you i'm like how do you know that's a good question <laughs> oh i saw your instagram post on that i was like yeah, okay. oh god yeah go check yeah, out my yeah, instagram yeah. post just so cute oh my god yeah i felt so pretty that day oh my god you're always pretty well <laughs> thank you that, that. you too oh my god so i like went to korea Okay, I'm Chinese, right? But like, I don't look Chinese because my face is like wider than the average Chinese person. Most of the people who mean think I'm Korean. You do look kind of uh, Korean. Thanks, Tessa. <laughs> Basically, on the plane, like the flight attendant just came up to me. He was like speaking rapid Korean. And I was like, I was looking at him so confused. And then he was like, are you not Korean? <laughs> and I was like, no. This is my first time doing this style of content, so let me know if you like it and if you want to see more. Wait, should we maybe, maybe talk about the way we met because it's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so from my perspective, I'm a year younger than Tessa, so at the time I was in sixth grade, I was on YouTube and she like appeared on my like page. And at that time we had one class together, but when that was like when it was online school. So mm -hmm. I had I, I only knew what she looked like from the perspective of our like meetings on for, for class. And mind you, this was the only class for me that I had to turn on my camera. So if yeah, she was we in were, any like, other class, to we would not camera. be friends. So I clicked on her video because like I was interested, I was intrigued, I was attracted to the video. <laughs> so I watched it and then I was like, that girl looks so so suspicious. <laughs> that girl in my class. <laughs> Stupid little sixth grade me was like, maybe it'll be a good idea to like comment on her video. <laughs> and then now we're friends, tell your perspective. Oh yeah, so at this point, it's like April of 2021. Went from 3K to 13K in one yeah. month. So that was like my kind of skyrocket month. That I've never recognized before. And especially because it's like online school. And so you were like my first person. Like that was like so mind blowing to me. And every time that I got recognized, and when I say every time, it's been like three times. Oh, we should talk about the time that I got recognized like last Friday. Every time I get recognized, it hits to me that like what I'm doing is real. And like this is not a dream. Mm -hmm. Okay, now last Friday, because that was insane. Tessa and I were at lunch. This girl, she comes up to us and she's like, wait, do you do YouTube? And she was like, that's, that's she plays Roblox. She was like so excited. And, and it was, I was like, so I feel like I get yeah. more excited than the person that like recognized me. I do not know her. Like I have never seen her or spoke to her in my life. So when she came up, I'm like, okay, so maybe she's like your friend. And she started talking to me. I'm like, she's like, do you play Roblox? Like, do you do YouTube? And then I'm like, there's no way. When she asked, do you do YouTube? I'm like, okay, so maybe she knows, but like slight chance. And then she goes, are you Tesla? I'm like, no way. Because the That's other time I got recognized was by a guy in eighth grade. And like only 25% oh of my viewers are males. How do you know that? Like, <laughs> there, you can see it. I can also see like where people are from. So like what countries. Wait, what's your most popular country? It's the US with 52% and then it's UK at 13%. Speaking of which, only 5.2% of my viewers are subscribed. So please subscribe. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. go, go back to the eighth grade story first. I have to finish that story. So this guy was in my math class. We sat at the same table. He was already sat down. And then I, before I could sit down, he goes, do you play oh, Roblox sorry. or Bloxburg? I'm like, yeah. And then he goes, I, f I saw on YouTube. I'm like, no way. What else should we talk about? What, is, what else is there to talk still about? still a bunch of bullets. You have a bullet list of this? Yeah, because when I'm building, which on the screen right now, I should be building, okay. I need to talk about yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. So I just wrote a bunch of bullet points when I'm on my vacation of like things I want to talk about. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's in my notes it's called <laughs> stories. Can I talk about my t-shirt or is that bad? Maybe not. Well, like you already talked about your bidet experience. <laughs> 
You know what I just realized? The girl who came up to us uh, last yeah. Friday, she might see this. How you doing? I hope you feel honored that we're talking about you. Yeah. And if you see this, come up to me again so that I know you see this. Do you want to talk about last year's musical? Annie, I got a heat stroke. I really like that experience. I'm so sad that like they don't have that this year. Yeah, I know. It's so sad. Okay, um, we need to give yeah. some context. As you know, Asa and I are a year apart. Basically, um, she was in middle school and I was in high school. And the middle school had a middle school production, like of a act, musical. musical production, if you didn't know that. I volunteer to stage manage for that You're welcome. show. I let you know. I just realized our birthdays are really close together. When's your birthday? November it's, 7th. My birthday's That's November 15th, you. so we're like eight days Wait, apart. On that note, do you want anything for your birthday? I haven't thought about it yet. What do you want? I don't know either. See? Um, it's like you yeah. can't just think of it on the spot. Also, usually, because I get myself a bunch of things for my birthday and i usually get it on black friday which is like a week after my birthday yeah, it's like the perfect that's time so smart. i had a job over the summer for... really? what'd you do i was a personal assistant <gasps> you're a for... personal assistant that's so bougie <laughs> i got paid minimum wage so like just was a random person no it needs a little bit of context i had this teacher seventh grade year you were a personal she assistant for a teacher no it was okay. for her owns a dance studio oh okay and she was throwing like a festival thing and she was like can you come assist so mm -hmm. i was like yeah sure i had a teacher once that invited me to their wedding that's so random did you go i didn't go because i was on vacation and a bunch of like my classmates did go but i couldn't mm -hmm. go would it be awkward if you just like pulled up to your teacher's wedding? <laughs> if like it was only me that was like her student, that'd be weird. But like if that'd it was a bunch weird. of other that'd people be... that's also her student, yeah. then it's like less weird. Speaking of which, I'm looking mm -hmm. at my bullets yeah. and it says a woman only subway cabins in Japan. Oh yeah, yeah, because Japan's like um, um stats are really high. Yeah, but I feel like yeah. out of all countries, Japan mm -hmm. is like pretty safe. Yeah. So for Japan to have that and US do not, I'm like oh. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Okay, to be fair, US doesn't have a whole lot of subways. You know those people who are like pretty book smart, but they lack so much common sense, it like makes <laughs> up. Because that's me. Like, you can like, like I can get good grades and stuff, but then you give me a GPS and tell me to like go to the, okay, this is a true story, to go to the beach and I will get lost. Like, yeah, I feel it like was, I'd get lost too. Like when I first like, like found you, I thought you were like the coolest person I've ever <laughs> known. And keep in mind that I know an Olympic athlete. Really? Still... Yeah, I do. Did you not know? Did I never tell you? No. The only okay, Olympic well... athlete I know is like the person that did like ice skating. Yeah, yeah, no, her. School. I know her personally. <gasps> really? I, I know her That's personally. So cool. She's my sister's best friend. <gasps> you're saying I'm cooler than her? Yeah, you're cooler than oh her. Oh my gosh. I'm so yeah. honored. I've known her since I was in second grade. So like, it never really like occurred to me what she was doing. And she was also my sister's best friend, not mine. So I never really got to like watch up close on how she was like growing as like an athlete for me because I like found you. I got to watch you like grow your channel. Become the person I am today. Starting a motivational <laughs> speech here. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna get like emotional. <laughs> also, I just realized, was I supposed to introduce myself because um, you can. Okay. Wait, how do I do that? <laughs> Her name is okay. Katie. Hi, she I'm Katie. My friend, and a year younger than me. Like, exactly. Actually, a year and minus eight days. And that's all you need to know about her. I'm really cool. Yep. Tell us about your hobbies. My hobbies? I really oh. like acting, and I really like singing, and I really like gaming. Oh. Speaking of singing, we're gonna talk about mm -hmm. trash cans. Hold on, what? <laughs> Japan has, like, no trash cans. Japan's really clean. I know, right? It's like, it looks so clean, but where are the trash cans? And I've been to Japan for it before, and I know that there isn't much trash cans, but this time that I went, I noticed, like, how often I need trash cans. Like, I, I just know. have a lot of trash, which might sound America bad, but, like, come on. <laughs> like, I'm no, constantly like, having, like... having to find a trash can, and they're just not one. No, and then you just have to put it in your pocket, and it's, like, yeah. so nasty. Yeah. I mean, they're clean, though, somehow. They're more clean than America. USA. USA. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, international people. Yeah, sorry for the... 48% of you who are not in the US. I mean, I'd say Canadians are pretty similar. Yeah, but like Canadians are not even my top five. Oh no, they are. They're my number four. So basically, no. I'm thinking marketing this year. Part of the first thing that I have to do is like, it made sense for him to know I have a YouTube channel. Yeah, because like marketing. marketing. 
Stop. So he told me that if I get 250 K subscribers at the end of this year, which is in three months, so I don't think it's possible, but maybe um, the people watching this can make it possible. He told me if I get 250 K subscribers, I'll get an automatic A in the class. I'm not even joking. Oh I cannot make this up. Please subscribe so Tessa doesn't fail school. Is the, is the like class pretty easy though? The class is pretty easy. He gave me extra credit for having a YouTube channel. I think I'm his favorite student, guys. And I bet you're the coolest person in this class. Hmm. I, I bet I am because I'm just so cool. Is the day that I reach 100K? You came in and then like, you Tessa. just started like yelling and I'm like, I knew exactly what this was about. And so then um, this other friend had to find out. Wait, who? I had to find out because I didn't know. For this next bit to make sense, you need some context. We are talking about Annie again, which in case you forgot, is the show I stage managed for and the show Katie was in. The girl we are referring to, the one that had to find out I have a YouTube channel, also stage managed for the show. Wait, I forgot about her. Wait, oh, I haven't talked to her in like, actually I never really talked to her. I talked to her if I needed to, which was not very often because she kind of scared me. Yeah, yeah, she was like so intimidated. I talk about her all the time of like how she's so intimidated to the- like I'm intimidated. I remember during rehearsal she would be like, if I'm singing, you aren't singing loud enough. But she's actually so nice though. I know, she's really nice. But I like, I wasn't in any of the ensemble songs. I never got the experience to be yelled at by about. We're gonna give her a code name. The reason I wanted a code name is because I've never used a code name before and it just sounds so cool. Katie. No, actually that's confusing. That's my name. Or Jesse. Um, okay, that one day yes. there was supposed to be two teachers. The reason there's two oh. teachers is because people were supposed to split up to like practice two different things. Teacher B wasn't here. Mm -hmm. Teacher A had to go to the other room and me and were the oh me and Jesse. Oh my god. I'm kinda not play fast stuff and I'm using her real name. This is this is a this is editing's a gonna be a process. <laughs> me and Jesse had to like lead with the other pack of students all on her own. And that was the most intimidating I've ever seen. Oh, Jesse. It's terrible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we were singing a song, or they were singing a song, because they were like in a line. And Jesse started like pacing in front of them with her mm -hmm. arms crossed and was just like yeah. pacing back and forth, listening to everyone singing. I don't think Jesse's gonna watch this video, but if she does, the thought. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> you're, you're so nice, but I just had to talk about the funny. Because you're so funny. In Thailand, we take Ubers. Yeah, well, they're yeah. not called Ubers, but like it's kind of like an Uber. Uh -huh. And a really common thing I found out in Thailand is that Uber drivers will just like, while they've like taken passengers, they'll just like go pump their gas. Like, no. Really? shame and nothing like they just go you know i need to put my gas like i gotta do what i gotta do also on that same uber ride i got mm -hmm. it i swear to god there was a literal child sitting in this middle console the kid of the driver yeah the kid of the driver i don't even know but the middle console is like only a foot so she was like tiny like this toddler was tiny i took a video of her she was so cute i've just never seen anything like that i tried infused water for the very first time in Japan or Thailand and it is now my new favorite water it is literally so good okay so I don't really like water yeah so having something that's like kind of flavorful but like still water it just makes me want to drink water I could literally have infused water right beside me right now wait so you just like have some now yeah I just drank <laughs> I heard it yeah. <laughs> did you hear it yeah, I did I can hear it <laughs> Oh my god, I was stalking you earlier today because right. as one does, is that's my favorite pastime is seeing Tessa's videos, like the very old ones, not even like the recent -er ones. Like I like to scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh my god. It's, I'm, it's fun getting to see like a little Tessa, the 1,000 subscriber special. Oh god. And you said that you wanted to tell your YouTube story when you got to 100k. What Katie means by YouTube story is my YouTube origin story, basically how and why I started doing YouTube. Right. I do remember saying that. Spill the tea, sis. Also did also say on a community post that I was going to do a setup tour at 100k. Ooh. It didn't happen yet. Let me know if you want that because the reason I've been putting it off is because I don't know if people want it and also my desk is kind of a mess. Because watching like your old setup tour, your desk was so clean and I was like, what? No, I, I definitely cleaned it. <laughs> like everything was definitely stuffed in my drawer and I took it right out after. It's fake, guys. Because the thing is, I just like having a bunch of things on my desk like right there for me. Yeah. I know, me too. Probably 80% of the stuff that's on my desk I don't ever touch. Hey, maybe they'll be useful one day. You can yeah, never like this eraser right here, like I might need it in two days. Who knows? I also have my 100K plaque just like on my desk still in the packaging. You didn't like hang it up or anything? No, cause I'm like really lazy. And also having that right, 
there on my desk, even though it's in the packaging. It's it's, it's motivating. Maybe yeah. take it out of the package. Yeah, but then it gets It'll dirty, be... and I wanted to keep oh, it clean. Okay, well, this packaging has, like, the YouTube logo on it, so that's motivating it. Oh my god, okay, so when Tessa first got her plaque, guess who, like, forced her to send her, like, a picture of it the day it came? Me. Also, the day it came was also the day of Annie show. Yeah, wait, was it? It oh, was, it was, no, it was, th um, second. It was May 19th. How do you remember that? Because I'm scrolling through our text. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, I don't just have this memory. <laughs> and because it was the day of Annie, all my photos are in all black because I had to wear no, all black was, for the show. It was dress rehearsal, I think. No, it was the show. And I couldn't even go home to go see it because I had to because stay throughout the day because I thought I was gonna be singing that day. So you might be asking, what do you mean that you thought you were gonna sing that day? I thought you were stage managing, not in the show. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right, I am. But the girl who played Annie lost her voice a few days before, meaning I had to stay at school to rehearse to sing for her for the show. So as to why I didn't have to sing for her at the end, it's because- Our Annie pulled through. Yeah, which she is so talented and she's so good at singing, so I'm so glad she got to sing. If I was to do band, I do percussion because it's the easiest. I just like hit the drums. From the vibes that I give off and the fact that, you know, I, I was in band, what instrument did you play? Because everyone says I don't look like the instrument I played. How do you look like an instrument you play? Okay, first of all, you don't it's even look like a band kid at all. No, because I don't do band anymore. I only did band because I was required to. Do you play the flute? No, everyone thinks I play the flute. I don't play the flute. Pick the most wild kid. Okay, the only four instruments that I know is in the band is a flute, yeah. clarinet, trumpet, and percussion. And if it's none of those, I don't know. <laughs> I played trombone. Is it like big? Yeah, it was like one of those big things with the slidey thing. It was the slider one. Uh, I thought trumpet has a slidey thing. No, no, trumpet's with the brush button. No, 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 no. no. Hold on. I'm so sure. It doesn't know what a trumpet is. No, it, it, oh, it doesn't have the slidey thing. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like it could have the slidey thing. No, Google trombone. It looks the same shape. Like it has potential to be a pulley thingy. This is what a trombone looks like. <laughs> okay, so maybe it's a lot longer. But like the trumpet still looks like it could slide it in and out. It's pretty small. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty small. So you can pull it without like your hand extending very far. But it has buttons. Okay, well maybe it's both. Maybe it's like more complicated than the trombone. Whatever you say. She is in her own world. I'm just saying like it could. Like one day someone might make a trombone pit. I do sometimes look at like who subscribed to my channel and I did find a 54 year old man. Why 54? Why not like 55? Well, I don't, 54 just like came to me. How do you know what he looks like? He has a YouTube channel. What's it called? I don't remember. They have like 10k subscribers. They're like doing pretty well. I Two subscribers? Good for you. The only thing I have posted is a short from seventh grade because there was a guy who was like making <laughs> YouTube videos about me. I found your channel. That's the school one. No, it's the one with the short. I see a short. With the guy? With a guy. I don't know if it's the guy, but it's a guy. Is he wearing a white mask? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Wait, have you finished building the- I did halfway. I'm building a cartoon house and it's so mm -hmm. cute. It's like all pastel -y and it's like has the black <laughs> outlines and it's like so fun. That would take forever though, wouldn't it? Well, I'm not doing about black outlines on everything. Do you I don't think I have time for that. For this? I'm not recording my face, no. I'm in like the most ugliest position right now. Like I have my leg up. Cause for a face cam video, I don't think you guys understand like how much goes into it. I have to like <laughs> get my camera ready in the right lighting and then i have to put on makeup which takes like 30 minutes and then i have oh to like change the battery one every so often because uh, the thing's gonna oh run God. out of battery and it, it's a whole yeah. thing like right now i can just talk and like play with my hair and um have my leg up yeah. and it's fine welcome to the official tour of the cartoon house this has to be like one of the cutest house i've ever made i literally love it so much i love the color scheme in this build this is the outside i try to use like mostly plastic textures because that's like what gives me that cartoony vibe we have a little front porch here it literally is so cute love it and then we had inside oh my gosh i'm so excited look how cute this all looks this is the entrance it has like cute cartoon decals all over and this is the living room i try to go for like orange pink yellow type of color scheme i'm like obsessed and this window hack from faulty oh my gosh literally ties everything together this is the kitchen again super colorful super cute this decal is so cute and here we have the bathroom oh that's very yellow this is the sink i've never used this counter before but like i literally have been built in forever ever since these came out so oh. i guess like it made sense for me to not use them but this is the toilet it's a blue which i would normally never do but because it's cartoon it has to be colorful i did that and then we have the bedroom so cute oh my gosh and throughout the house and the outside you'll see like a brown outlines and that's like the outline i try to do for like the cartoony vibe because cartoons have like outlines literally everywhere but if i did brown outlines on everything that would take me 10 hours and i no thank you click here to see more blocks for challenges like this one subscribe